Good afternoon ladies, it's Monday and I attempted to do eye makeup today. <laughs> Seems like today I'm looking back. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll see further than my little head allows me to. So I just want to start off and say thank you to Janelle for saying that I looked so well yes or so good last week. Um the sad thing is, you were saying something about going all out of makeup or something. I wasn't wearing any. I'm sorry. Um, I put on a little bit of lipstick, I think. Yeah, a little bit of lipstick, lipstick and that was it. I had just gotten done with the bike ride um, and did my video, and that was about it. But thank you! It made me feel really good. Because, um, hey, if I look that good without makeup, then maybe I look good or better with it. I don't know. But thank you. Um, with a life update, nothing new. Nope, nothing new. Um, I get to go try to be an adult later here in a little bit. Gotta go to the bank and see money go. Bye bye. I hate being an adult. Um, anyways, so nothing new. Working, bills, toddler. That's about it. Okay, moving on to questions. Cause there's a lot of questions that I need to answer. So, here we go. Since I was already talking about the makeup, and that was Janelle's thing, I will move on to Janelle's question about, are we excited for Harry Potter? Um, yes, actually I am. Um, I have listened to the books, not read them, but listened to them. But I didn't do that until a couple years ago, so I'd already seen a lot of the first movies. And um, that's actually an anomaly for me. I don't like reading the book after the movie because usually the book is better and I don't if I like the movie I don't want to ruin it for me <laughs> or you know think oh my goodness it would have actually been so much better if they had put that in but so Harry Potter's a little bit of an anomaly with that one um but I like to make kind of make fun of the books and sort of the movies too but I do that with Twilight too I like making light of things that I like anyways Moving on, um, Jamie asked Tara why she doesn't sing her own intro because she's in choir and Janelle, um, and then moved on to ask whether or not any of us sing. Well, a few weeks ago, that was actually a question, or I answered that sort of in the question of if I could have any sort of talent, what would it be? And that would be singing because I. Oh, suck is not even strong enough of a word. I am horrendous at it, so I don't sing. Um, I would love to, and I actually even thought about trying to do and the little intro song, and I chickened out because I really didn't want to hear myself be that bad, and there would have been no way I would have put it up anyway, so there you go. Um, and I just want to say one thing about your husband, Jamie. He is... Uh, it's just adorable when he does things in the background and tries to get in on the video. Um, you guys are way too cute together. It's amusing and I love it. Um, and cooking. I did not get those recipes up because I can't find my crockpot cookbooks. Um, it was apparently something that we lost when we moved and I have no idea where they are and it actually is not really... I'm not happy about that. I'm a little worried. Um, but I do have one recipe that I pretty much know by heart. I changed it up a little bit from what was actually in the book, but if you want it, I can try to type it out, and hopefully I remember everything, so if you use it, you know, it doesn't go disastrous. Um, but let me know about that. Let's see here. Um, Tara asked if we've ever been to a Rocky Horror experience. Well, no. I've actually only seen the movie once, about four or five years ago. Um, it was really late at one of my friend's houses, and I know I paid attention, and I do remember a lot of it, but I'm kind of fuzzy on some of it, and main thing that I've seen is, like, the shows that do the little episodes about their Rocky Horror experience, basically. So, um, maybe someday I'll get to go. I don't really go out anywhere, so... I don't know when or where that would be, but maybe. Um, as for your um, what you were saying about church and just trying to find the right group of people that you fit in with, and quite frankly, darling, I told you to go to River City Church. 
and my sister is still waiting for you and still will open you with welcome arms or welcome you with open arms um, as well the rest of the congregation and also the one nice thing that I really like about there is if you don't feel like you fit in with that group they're not too <clears throat> they just want you to find a church and so if you let them know that that's not the right fit for you then they will try to help you find another church that is a right fit for you because they just want you there whether it's with them or somebody else that's what they want so I still highly recommend it church services are at, I think 9 15 and 10 30 or not 10 30 11 30 or something I don't know I have to ask my sister again it's been oh, seven or eight months since I've been there anyways moving on again to Alicia and your videos you know what I love them um, yes a lot of us are more animated um, that I think has to do with you know our upbringing and stuff Jamie is a performer so she's animated Janelle is also fairly animated I was in drama for the longest time when I was growing up so when you're on stage you have to um, and I have a daughter that makes it interesting Bye bye. Um, when you're on stage, you can't see the slight facial expressions that you would normally, like in a video or when you're just talking to somebody. So you need to liven it up with hand gestures and just go all out so that they can you can convey it properly so they know what you're talking about and what you're supposed to be feeling. Um, but honestly, I think you do great. Um, I like your nice mellow attitude. It's nice. For Sunday especially because, you know, your weekend's winding down and, I don't know, I've enjoyed getting to know you, so don't worry about it. You're doing fine. Um, as for what you were saying about the darker skinned people and being attracted to them, I actually completely agree with you. Um, I love the more exotic look and when I was little and growing up, I actually thought it would be awesome to be with someone of African American or, um, <clears throat> excuse me, actually Latino. Um, those are two that I've always liked and uh, Asian. I, I just, I like people and how they look and they're different, how everybody looks different and how the different cultures when they mesh, what their child ends up looking like. I think it's amazing and I think you get some beautiful 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 people from it and um, I'm glad that you found the right guy for you and someone that you love um, yes 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 um, anyways that's what I have to say about that um, actually I think I covered everything wow um, yes did you want to say hi uh oh did you want to say hi uh oh show them your flower Say, Daddy found flower petals and gave them to her when she came when he came home. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I hope you ladies have an awesome, awesome week. And Janelle, I know that the makeup is like very crudely done because it always is, and I can never get the same on both sides, which is my most annoying thing, I think, because I'll like go, oh my gosh, this is awesome, and then can't get it to duplicate on the other side and usually end up just wiping it all off right afterwards so be thankful that I made myself keep it on today um, oh I did actually have a question for all of you uh, I ran out of my skincare stuff from Avon last month and it wasn't really working for me so that's why I haven't reordered any um, I want to know what you guys do to try to help fight blemishes and just keep your skin healthy. I've been breaking out a lot lately and I just need some more ideas of what to do. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And Tara, I will see you tomorrow, love.